Uh, man, we get a lot of emails about PT <laughs> and Kojima and Konami and etc. Here's a couple emails about it. Here's one from James. He says, uh, I'm a relatively new listener to the podcast and brand new premium member. Uh, first and foremost, thank you guys for the wonderful content you provide. You're welcome. Uh, anyway, enough with the melancholy crap. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. The methods that Konami used to pretty much erase PT from existence. Canceling Silent Hills, delisting PT from PSN, removing the... Uh, I like that he frames this like that was the end game. <coughs> like someone right. just woke up and went, we've got to get rid of PT. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel Silent Hills. We're getting rid of PT. Like, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then lastly, removing the ability to re-download PT from PSN if you removed it from your local hard drive. Mm-hmm. Do you think this creates a bad precedent for other companies to follow when trying to liquidate or censor one of their failed projects? Uh, or is this just local to Konami, given their possible internal political issues? Uh, I realize that some games have been delisted aside from PT, like Mortal Kombat 2 for uh, PS3. Yeah. Um, but this is the first time I've seen uh, the case where the ability to re-download it was removed as well. I guess since it was free, that makes it okay. What do you guys think? Especially want to hear Jeff's thoughts on this as I feel censorship hits him personally. I'm not sure what he meant by that. Censorship is like not a... Also, yes, like, this, is no. not, this is not censorship. <laughs> censorship is the government issue, telling right? you what you can yeah. and can't say. We've got to stop them from getting the word out about this game we're not making. <laughs> uh, I mean, like this is Konami, you know, like I think they they got out there and said, you know, hey, this Norman Reedus thing expired. We don't have a deal with him anymore. Oh, wow. So we can't have this thing out there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But... More importantly, that thing only exists because it is set up to announce Silent Hills. Yeah. That thing only exists as a promotional vehicle for Silent Hills. It on its own, it's its own thing, and obviously, you know, people have gotten enjoyment out of that, but it was created to promote <laughs> Silent Hills, a game that has been canceled. So this is them removing the thing that says, hey, we're making Silent Hills. Right. And makes total logical sense in that context. I never mm-hmm. actually finished that thing, but does it end with references to, like, stay tuned yes. for Silent Hills? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. some clips. Does it show Redis? I think, I think that picture Redis. of Redis is in is Late in title there. card where it actually says Silent Hills. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, th- that thing is, is a surprise announcement for yeah. Silent Hills. Right. Like, it exists to do that. Right. So if Silent Hills is dead... There's then no fucking reason. Having for this PT to be out there. kicking around out there is probably a bad move. Like it's yeah. probably a liability for them. I can understand the business thought process. Um, but like you at know, the same time, like it's a super cool thing, and I can understand why people would want to hang on to it. But and, and yeah, and and you know, like this is going to be one of those like love finds a way situations where you know somewhere down the road, everyone will be able to play PT. It'll be yeah. fine. Um, yes. It will exist, you know, someone has already dumped that to another hard drive yeah. and is hanging on to it for yes. when the apocalypse comes. Operative, Don't you worry. Operatives have sprung into action uh, on this. You know, that thing will will someday, yeah. uh, unless unless the PS4 ends up like the original Xbox, uh, it'll end up, you know, so, so you'll find someday. But yeah, like this doesn't, like, it's a sleazy move by Konami in that they've been making a lot of sleazy moves lately. Yeah. But this one is maybe the least sleazy. You can understand why they would do it. And some people were like, they should have just yanked out all the Silent Hill stuff and put it back up. It's like, okay, so you want developers to go back into this dead thing, change it just so you can continue to have this free ethic. Like, there's no incentive for them to do that other than goodwill, which they've proven by recent activity. (laughs) They don't give a fuck. (laughs) They have none. What you think about Konami. Yes. Like, they don't give a fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> holy shit, they're they really burning don't. that thing to the ground. They really don't. <laughs> so, you know, the, the idea that, like, Konami's going to do right by PT when it can't even do right by all of its other franchises is absurd. Yeah. Like, that's not a game company. 100% agree with they you They are on not that. a game company. Yes. Konami just happens to occasionally make some video games now. Yep. yep. Well, then the sooner we start thinking about it that way, the slightly less infuriating this will all become. <laughs> That's fair. Right up until the day where they fucking figure out like, oh, we maybe we can make some money by licensing Contra to someone who gives a shit or selling it, you know? Uh, and then things, then things will be okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, the, the, the hyperbolic reaction to this thing going away has been more than a little off-putting. I, you uh, know, like, I get it. Like, whatever. Like, like, I, it's I a totally... thing that people had that is, like, being taken away in an above and beyond measure that mo- when most things are taken down, it doesn't happen like this. I mean, that, that's kind of the larger issue that this guy's raising. Uh, although, I mean, if I think what he's getting at is, is a publisher ever going to take this this step with something people paid for? And like that, 
is inarguably beyond the pale, and like that hasn't come to pass yet. And I that I think is a is like lawsuit I can't, territory. I can't like that's, there's a lot of my only fear there is that like is language built into the EULAs at this point. That, Sometimes that you're, like, you're kind releasing of, software, right. but yeah, also you know totally. if, if you think about it in terms of like online only games that have their servers shut off, yeah, like those are being de facto basically deactivated. But basically, yeah, I mean you might know, as well not have them if you can't. People play played them. for the ma- paid for the Matrix online. Yeah, you know you can't you can't play that right. Um, did it have legal wording like in the Matrix Online saying like, hey, at typically, some point, uh, you know, I, I can't say specifically in that case, but typically I, I know like EA games have a lot of stuff like, hey, within like we can give 90 days notice of shutdown and fuck you. OK, is, I think literally what it says. Huh. Um, yeah, that's legal. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'd, I'd bet that there's probably but it's, it's not necessarily about like an EULA and like having that stand up in court. I think there's a lot of like right and wrong type stuff that. Hmm. You know, I was like, yes, you technically agreed to this thing, but that's not the end of this. This is still fucked. And, you know, let's go test it in a court. Because, um, like, even, you know, when stuff gets delisted on Steam for being shady, um, you can still download it. You know, like, I can still go download that rock and roll racing ripoff that those guys made. Um, is it just when you say delisted, but you can find it? You mean you have to go through like a search so, function? No, it, it's or still or? in my Steam library. You just oh, can't okay. just store it. So you can't it's search delisted for it in the from store the store. Now. You cannot yeah, delist it from the store, the store but you. not from your library. You cannot, right. you cannot buy it. And so that like, would have been like the. I think that's the ideal scenario for something like PT, where like it makes sense that they want to delist it, stop people from downloading it. Like I don't know what the Sony agreements are. Like who pays for bandwidth on distribution of demos right. or, or like what the deal in that specific case was. It may be where they were like. Yeah, we're not going to pay to let people keep downloading this thing that's free. That's not even a game. You know, we're not going to make any of that money back. So kill it. Like, I get that. And then you know, there are uh, factors you mentioned, like the likeness rights with Redis. And which like they a, threw that out there. I, you know, I, that could who knows, who be, knows that how, could very well be total bullshit. It could, it could. But uh, although uh, I can kind of see an argument for like you know the the misleading nature of this thing out there promoting a product that no longer exists. Yeah, and and like asking them to like open it back up and you know hey remove the Silent Hills stuff and then put it back up and charge for it. You know like like yeah maybe but like that's not that that would have been a cool like kind of meet in the middle right uh, sort of outcome for this is like clean it up and do whatever you need to do to sell it and then put it back out there for five bucks or whatever yeah, uh, yeah if that's but, what people want but but you know like you said konami they're, they're, that, that involves fuck. konami publishing yeah. a video game and yeah. you know it's well established that that's not really their forte uh yeah 